Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you what I've done in the past two years to this little area in uh, the front of our house here. Um, what I've done in the past two summers and what the plan is to hopefully finish it next summer. So let's start off with what happened uh, two summers ago. Two summers ago, I decided that I wanted to turn this little area into a succulent garden, actually. So I asked my dad if I could dig it out, and then we could replace the grass with rocks, and also uh, build it out so it has a... Uh, so it would have a wall, so then the whole thing would be flat as well. And these are the pictures of me digging it out. It took a couple of days to just uh, dig off all the surface grass and over time over the past two years that plan has changed and now I plan it it's probably going to be mulch and uh, it'll be a turtle pond but these are just the pictures of me digging it out uh, that first summer. Later that fall me and my friend actually started to dig out the pond area because I had gotten a plastic rubber main pond off of Craigslist for like $15 it's a 100 gallon and it'll be going and it'll make uh, this little area here um, an actual turtle pond area. Okay, so now I'm going to show you earlier this summer uh, when I was kind of still trying to figure out the plan here and also right before we installed this wall here. Uh, just talking about kind of what I, I plan to do then and I'll also talk about later in this video what I what my plan is now. The plan is that we would get this wall in today and then we might have to dig a drainage trench. So what will happen is as you can see the pond's floating right now because it fills up underneath. And what we want to do is dig a like a like a like a tile drainage thing either like here or here. So then whenever water goes in, it just drains right out, like um, in under the pond, that is, so then the pond won't float. And then obviously we're gonna have rocks all around and stuff. And then we'll either have mulch or rocks, we haven't decided yet, in the rest of the area. And then I'll plant plants like these. And we have some lilies out back we can plant as well and just different stuff like that in this area to really fill it in. And then I'm gonna have some, kind of like a bog filter right there I'm planning on. So we'll see how that works. That should be interesting. And then we'll have a, like a few pieces of wood probably in the pond so then the turtles can get out of it really easily. And then there's that piece of wood. And then over here, there is this piece of wood. And my idea is, that I might eventually keep box turtles in here or tortoises or something if I ever got those in the future. I do plan on giving any turtles or box turtles or tortoises to shelled reptiles because I know him and I know that he'll breed them and stuff. So I'll probably do that, but I, I, I might I like I've thought about like maybe having this area as a box, having box a box turtle in here as well, just kind of for fun or whatever. And I think that'd be pretty cool, but I'm gonna make a little cave under this piece of wood. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dig down and then we'll have mulch or whatever under it, but I'm just gonna dig it kind of into the ground so then you don't really see any of this part. You just see this hole right here. And I think that'll look really cool. And it'll probably go right there. And then, like I said, I'll probably have plants here. I have some trees that I I dug up, which are probably gonna go somewhere in our yard, but they're just sitting here for right now. And then, as you can see, all these weeds will not be here because we're actually gonna put a uh, one of those black um, things that you put under a garden, so then weeds don't go th grow through it. And then I think I think we're gonna go with mulch but we might go with river rock. We haven't really decided as for like the whole thing. I mean, if I was ever gonna keep a box drill in here, then I'd rather have like a mulch deal. But I don't really wanna just have weeds or grass or whatever because I'm kind of afraid of ticks on the turtles, which is really gross and I just don't really wanna have to deal with that. And then we're gonna have a tub 
or a wooden box or something that's in the ground right around here or here or there and we're gonna have dirt inside of that so then the turtles if they ever want to lay eggs then they can so, like i'm not gonna purposely really try to breed them if it happens then it happens and i think that'll be pretty cool to share on the channel and then i'll have some baby turtles to show you how to take care of and everything so this is the drainage thing right after we actually dug it out and right before we uh decided or we went to fill it in also this is uh when we had just put the wall in and hadn't filled in the area behind it yet uh i think it looks pretty nice as you can see here this is now filled in and it's actually been working really well i just emptied the pond yesterday and i'm going to show you that in this video because i didn't want the whole thing to freeze or anything uh like obviously not the whole thing but like it freeze and break somehow which i don't think it'll do once it has a pump but i don't have it set up properly as you can see but i just dumped like i just flipped it and dumped it all and it all went out onto the uh, driveway which i'm sure isn't like completely ideal but it's better than making the uh uh pond float now I'll be showing you what I did last night to this area, which was drain this pond, and I found some cool bugs, and uh, I had a bunch of wood in there, and I'm going to show you that. Okay guys, so today I'm going to be uh, taking out this pond because it filled up with rainwater, and I think I also dumped water change water into it as well. And I kind of just left, left it out here filled, so like if, pond, if uh, frogs fell in, then they would be able to swim out and everything and I've dumped a ton of pieces of wood in here to keep them waterlogged, but I need to figure out which ones I want to work to stay waterlogged and which ones I'd be all right with uh, uh, putting them and not keeping them waterlogged, like ones that I definitely won't use in a, an aquarium. So I have a bucket here and I'm just gonna start bucketing everything out and I'll slowly take out wood and then I will uh, sort through the wood. So I'm just using my normal five gallon bucket that I use for water changes, and I'm dumping it into a net there because it was water bugs, because I've seen a lot swim around in here, uh, and I kind of wanted to see them more close up. There was tons of water bugs in here, and they just kind of arrived here, as water bugs do, but that's why I did it this way. So as you can see right there, there's a little bug. And I just wanted to see what other types of things found their way in here. I'll search through and if I can find anything else cool besides that one, which I think those can fly. So I'll show I you guys. I ended up finding another one of those bugs and then just a bunch of mosquito larvae. So I'm glad I got those nice and killed then over here this is the wood that i want to keep like bring inside i think i want to keep this piece right here waterlogged but the rest of them i think are just pretty cool and i want to use them in terrariums uh maybe not this one no i think about it then these ones i'm just gonna put out in my greenhouse with all the other wood I've stored up and they can become unwaterlogged. I'm not gonna really be bothered by it. And then this one, I think I'm just gonna set right here. This is the really big piece. Probably I'll never be able to waterlog it again, which is disappointing, but the problem with all this wood is that inside this container, there's, uh, it wasn't only, not only was there algae in the water, but also there's some type of weird like fungus steely going on inside there so i don't want to bring that into any of my aquariums i'm actually trying to get rid of that in my turtle tank right now because i had this piece in it so i'm just gonna let that dry out and then it'll either be used in the waterfall for this tank or it'll just look really cool over here because this whole area is going to be a thing um this piece is one piece that i'd like to be able to keep and then put into the um turtles enclosure like keep waterlogged because i just got it to be waterlogged but i think i'm going to end up putting it over in the greenhouse and not be able to use it for uh 
the aquarium because again I don't want to put put that stuff back into my tank right now uh, definitely not so that's why I have my turtle aquarium bare right now the reason I did this is because I'm pretty sure if it like freezes super deep then it'll actually crack the thing but when this is properly set up I will have goldfish in here year-round and the pump will always be running so there'll always be a little bit that isn't frozen so I don't think it'll crack once it is uh, winter and it's out here but I just didn't want to risk it this time because we haven't even gotten the chance to use it yet so I'm just gonna put it inside my garage and clean up this whole area. Okay guys, so I'm sorry it's gotten progressively darker in this video. Um, I'm kind of racing the clock here and I actually had to bring out my light uh, just like I had to do last night when I emptied this uh, to actually film out here during night. So the current plan or the current ideas that I have uh, that I'm more sure of now is that we'll have the pond here, obviously. Uh, the, it'll be surrounded by rock, um, or like big rocks. Then there, I think I'll have like a bog filter, or I'll have like a waterfall there, or I'll have both. But I'm probably, if I'm just gonna have one, then I'll probably have the bog filter, and then have like some type of waterfall behind it or something, just like a thing there. But basically what I mean by a bo bo bog filter is I will... Uh, I have a little bit of liner and I'll kind of silicone liner across that part and then I will have it a little bit deeper back there and have it like just just like a couple inches deeper and then the water will rise up and then flow over uh, on on into the pond and then I'll fill that with plants to filter through the water um, but it'd also be cool to have like a waterfall right there then this whole area is going to be mulched, and around here will be some type of fencing, either like chicken wire fencing or wood or both. We haven't decided. We don't know what we're going to do yet there. And there obviously needs to, yeah, we're not going to have, what was I trying to say? There obviously needs like to be more dirt here, but um, probably not because I think we have to dig out this a little bit more uh, to be able to fit the mulch and everything. And I think what we're gonna do is we're not gonna have the black uh, liner stuff like this. We just use this here so then the dirt didn't seep through. But we're not gonna have that because that'll be difficult. We're just gonna have mulch. And if you get pretty thick mulch, then weeds won't go through it and you'll be all right. Uh, and then we will have plants planted around for the turtles to hide in. Something that I've thought about though is that I should have this is a lot of area, especially for um, aquatic turtles. So they're not gonna really be leaving the water. Or if they do, they don't really need this much area, right? So I'm thinking that over here, and I know it's kind of hard to see, but this is a pretty far area over here. And this is just some type of, um, if you guys, you guys can't see, never mind. There's a pile of scrap metal here. But this whole area is pretty big, as you can see here. And what I've thought about is maybe afterward, when we build this and finish it, I will put some type of fence within this thing that is kind of like over on the other side of the fence, on the other side of the bush. That kind of cuts off that area over there. And the purpose of that is possibly having a a like I said before earlier in this video like a box turtle area over there but again I don't have any box turtles but right now my main focus isn't like when I when I filmed earlier in this video I was still taking in turtles now I'm not anymore uh, just for the time being because it, it, it's just a lot of work and I'm doing a ton of different activities uh, especially school and I need to focus on school but my main focus right now is building more and more enclosures and trying to just um, make really cool enclosures, the best habitats for the animals that I do have right now. And this is obviously part of it. So we're gonna have this. This will take care of the goldfish situation. I have 15, 16 goldfish inside and I don't really wanna have to bring them in every year. So it'd be really nice to have them in here. And then this will be for the turtles during the summer. And then I can still bring in the turtles 
um, during the winter. But I'm hopefully one day I'll have a pretty deep pond, like four to three feet, three to four feet um, deep or even deeper. And that way I can keep things like red eared sliders and uh, painted turtles outside all year round rather than having to bring them in every year. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like it down below. If you have any comments or concerns, put them in the comments below. And if you want content, then subscribe. Have a fantastic day, and I hope to see you in that next video. Peace.